who not just pass console graphics and so forth, they're going to far pass it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, if they don't keep up with that part of the equation, like, if... I know what you're saying, like, a hardcore gamer wants that control in his hand, and yes, but I mean... I say you're a huge fan of the mobile. I think, I think <laughs> that's right? where everything is at, though. Like, yeah. yes, it may change, but, it, you know, technically, they're considering this a post-PC era, which means people are more on their smartphones and their tablets right. than they even own computers. And yeah, no, I agree with that. I agree with that. And, I mean, but with that being said, though, it's like you're starting to live your life through those devices. You know, you pick it up in the morning. It's probably one of the last things you touch before you yeah. go to bed. Like No, it's true. And, and let me tell you this. I know, like, especially Nintendo and, like, a lot of these gaming companies, they're scared to death yeah. when it comes to, like, tablets. Because yeah. cause right now, for example, we, we, we were talking about this before we started recording. Like, you know, a parent could pay... Two, three hundred bucks for a device like a tablet or whatever. Device and then yeah. sixty dollars per game. Yeah, exactly. That's another place though yeah. that mobile's gonna win because they're gonna yeah. be like, I'm gonna pay two hundred for this tablet because there's so many of them. This good there's tablet free is two hundred. Free games. Free games. Ninety nine cents. And even yeah. the ones that you pay for, the most you pay is nine ninety nine. Yeah. For the one that's the same graphic in that sixty five dollar yeah. box. Yeah. So. I agree with that. That they're gonna like to me if gaming companies don't get with it, somebody else will come along, figure out that gaming company, gaming company's formula for graphics for that game, and make it mobile. And then they're gonna like change the name and change up a little things where they won't get sued the hell out of. And yeah, then, right. then, then they're gonna win. Yeah. You know, um, like look at draw something like that's Pictionary. How are, how are they doing very, it without very, but Pictionary? See, all right, that game. It's great for like the the casual and people that love the towers and mobile, but people that play Call of Duty, Gears. No, it's Call, definitely too you know, proud. Like, hit, yeah, yeah, like that. Definitely too proud. Totally, totally yeah, different crowd. Right call there. people that play draw something. They play all these. We call yeah, them yeah. casual gamers. Casual right, gamers. Right, right. They right. pick it up. They put it down. They pick it up. But you, when you talk about the hardcore, the guy that sits at his house trying to prestige for Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. Four six times, right? That's a different breed, man. That's no, yeah, yeah. That's, and that guy's willing to pay sixty dollars yeah. plus another sixty dollars on top of that. They're not, uh, dude. They're not, they're not down with a whole touch screen. Like they has to have a controller, man. You know, so, yeah. and we we talked about this before, but yeah. I you know, I get that, but as the evolution of the like you know Apple's filed new patents for the way that they do the gestures and touching the screen and so forth. Like as that evolves, like. As quickly as tech moves, if you think five years down the line, like five years ago, in two thousand and seven, nobody when the i when the first iPhone launched, nobody thought that this would by any means no, touch no. the gaming that, community whatsoever. Yeah, that changed that changed the game completely. It did, but completely. we still didn't see that it was going to dip into the gaming community. I honestly don't think it has. You don't think so? You don't, I don't think, think so? Why? I think why? Why? Isn't the industry down like 20% overall? Yeah. And most of that is going to mobile gaming? That's probably casual. The, it's the casual market that's making it blow up. Because like I said, there's a, a lot of people that are casual gamers. There's not that many that are gamers. But when you look at it, the gamers are the ones that are still supporting that, that industry. Microsoft's still selling a crap ton of, of consoles every month. Right. They're still selling a bunch of games every Connect. month. The connects something like crazy. Yeah. All but here's the, the, like crazy. This, to me, the, here's the reason why that is. There's a kid being born every day. <laughs> from, five, from 10 years ago, you know, a kid was born every day. So now every day there's a birthday. And every day there's a new, brand new 10-year-old saying, I, if he doesn't already have it from two years ago, because I got my son a wee at five. And he had an Xbox at seven and a half because he was already addicted to the Wii. So if they haven't, let's just say by 10, said, yo, I have to have... The Actually, nowadays, from what I can tell, kids are stressing to have all three. Yeah. They want the Nintendo, they want the Xbox, and they want the Sony. And they want an iPad on top of it. And they want an yeah, iPad and an iPod. And parents are broke. Of course. <laughs> They're working just to put their kids yeah. through their social living, not even through college anymore. But I mean, like, either way, somebody's going to break down and say, I ain't getting you all three, but you're going to get this Xbox, or you're going to get this PlayStation 3, or you're going to get this this uh, Nintendo Wii, or Wii, whatever. Like, so, yes... 
<laughs> no, I see where you're going with that. The answer, the answer is a universal console. You know, one console with a bunch of different games. But then, then, but see, his this is the thing I've noticed with my. That's where I was going with this. My nine year old who just turned nine, but close enough. Uh, he has a 360, has a Wii, and I have a PS3, right? And the Wii and the PS3 are at my house. He was here this weekend. He did not turn on the PS3 not once. He didn't even look at the Wii. He was stuck on his iPod, which if he had an iPad would probably be two to three times worse. Right. Mm. He was good with his, and he, to me, he's, although maybe not hardcore gamer as far as being able to buy the veteran pack because he has no money because he's nine, but if he had money, he would buy the veteran pack. He's taught me, or when Black Ops came out, there were certain levels, I'd get tired of dying and gave him the control and he'd get through the level. So he's not like a slow button on in, in the crowd or whatever when it comes to the game. He may not be super hardcore, but he's definitely up there where he's stressing when the next release comes out. He wants to know how I got through a certain board because if he's replaying the game on the next hard level, he wants to know, Daddy, what was the exact way you crawled? Like, that's some real gamer shit to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he is stuck on his iPod. And every game that he's put me onto on his iPod, if I did a post about it, it moved on the site. So I'm like, not for nothing, but this is the crowd that we're talking to and about. So I'm like, I don't know. Like to me, that's what really got me open on this mobile shit. Is like, yeah. 